Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We've got your daily reading here for October 11th of 2024. Today is Friday, guys. We're heading into the weekend, and let's have a look and see what energy is activating for you guys today. Hopefully, it's a little bit more comfortable than yesterday. Uh, we have here, oh, wonderful. We've got the uh, Knight of Cups there. Actually, he's not. He's the King of Cups. I lied. Um, we've got the Nine of Swords. Oh, no, we don't want that. We want to overrule that. And we've got the Queen of Cups. Would you look at that energy? Hmm. Okay. So you may have something going on with a friend, with a partner, um, with a significant other, perhaps there. Uh, we've got the moon card at the back of the deck here. So there could be something hidden that is revealed. There could be um, a deepening of emotions, right? The moon, um, the moon at the back of the card can represent there might be a surprise, there might be some revelation, there may be some um, hidden information or something that needs to come to light or that does come to light. Um, the moon rules our subconscious, so it's a very emotional energy, right? So maybe someone is revealing their feelings about something, perhaps, ooh, perhaps a uh, secret admirer, or you've got a friend that, you know, uh, reveals how they truly feel about you. But, um, you know, it could be in a very positive way with both uh, the king and queen in the upright. All right. It's just that there's something a little bit troubling or worrisome or something in the middle of in the middle of the two of you. Right. But we've got that moon there to say we've got to get things out in the open. We've got to talk about things. Right. We've got to share. Sharing is caring to people. Sometimes it's difficult, though, to share our emotions. Right. Especially if maybe we've got something that we need to reveal. And it's probably in this energy, maybe something kind of minor, but something that can really um, maybe trigger some emotions, right? So maybe we have a secret that we're revealing, um, you know, perhaps there's just, uh, we're not sure about how someone feels about us in this energy, right? And there's just something, something there. Now the nine of swords right in the middle of the king and queen, right? This can represent just a little bit of anxiety, right? But often the nine of swords is a self-imposed kind of anxiety. It's like, there's something going on or there's something hidden or there's something addressed or something we need to deal with or talk about. And the nine of swords is where we get ourselves all up in our heads, right? And I think, if I remember correctly, I think we may have had this card yesterday. I'm pretty sure. So this nine of swords energy is still carrying us forward, right? So, but often what happens here is we build up a situation in our heads to the point where we think that it can only have a negative outcome. And in actual fact, when we get something out in the open, we talk about something, we discuss something, we compromise on something, we, you know, figure out a way forward, or we just honest, right? Often the results of that, the aftermath aren't nearly as bad as what we thought they were going to be, or it's not as scary of a conversation as we thought that it was going to be. So out of your head a little bit and into your heart, all right, is probably going to be the way forward. All right. Um, the moon, uh, the moon part, of course, can bring about um, a culmination and end of a cycle here as well. And it's like we finish this kind of stage of our journey. Now, where are we going from here? Are we still moving forward, deepening, expanding ourselves? Or are we, you know, kind of not going to go any further, right? So the moon card here can represent those cycles that we've got in all aspects of life, right? Something in internal inside us, something with relationships, something just in life in general. So we can have new beginnings, we can also have endings, and we can have growth coming here as well. So really be open and receptive to whatever you need to do whatever, uh, you know, someone else needs to maybe say to you that kind of thing, because you could be the one sparking the conversation or maybe someone else does. Now, it's also very creative energy that's coming in here. There is love in the air. There is caring, compassion, kindness in the air as well. Right. But again, we do have this nine of swords right in the middle. So there could be some potential communication issues today. They might be minor. Right. It might not be a huge thing. It could just be minor. Um, but with the King and queen both here, there's something in the middle pre uh, preventing some harmony, 
right? Um, the King and Queen of Cups is love and romance for sure, but it's also friendships. And it's also something within you, right? The masculine and feminine within you. So, you know, is there something that you're worried about today? Is there something that you want to do, something that you want to change? Are you just feeling a little bit discombobulated today, right? There's a battle going on here between your head and your heart, but um, it really does look like here that your heart energy shall prevail. So follow your heart, get creative, um, be kind to yourself because this nine of swords, right? Self-imposed restrictive kind of energy there all up in knots. All right. Be kind to yourself. Most importantly, you might be a, this might be a great weekend for you to do something nice for yourself, to practice some self-love, self-care in some way, whatever that looks like to you. But I think that some of you might have a little bit of a surprise coming um, this weekend, likely from another person. Whether you meet someone new, this can be romantic. It can be potential friendship. It can be even a potential business partnership. Uh, it can be some creative collaboration that you may have with somebody and might catch you off guard a little bit. All right. And this can alleviate some of your fears or your worries or your doubts and that kind of thing. Right. So, uh, you know, that that nine of swords isn't something uh, isn't something that can totally derail us for our day or our weekend. But it is something to pay attention to those little negative thoughts that can often be in your head. Um, it could be that you're just feeling a little bit out of sorts because you're not sleeping well. The Nine of Swords can represent those sleepless nights, all right, sleep disruptions and that kind of thing. Maybe someone in your world um, is creating uh, an environment where you can't sleep very well. So you may need to find some sort of solution. You might need to get your feelings about that out in the open. So maybe you've got a partner that snores or they toss and turn or, you know, maybe they're just touching you in the middle of the night and they're like, Ugh, you're hot, go away. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So that can be a tricky conversation sometimes to have, right? If someone's preventing you from sleeping, but better out than in, right? Better to, you know, reveal um, what's bothering you with kindness and compassion. And that can really help you on your journey. All right. So something needs to be investigated a little bit with that moon. Something may not be quite what it seems. Um, find your balance, find your harmony within yourself, but also with others. And a compromise may certainly be the order of the day for you in your day and through your weekend. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I thank you guys for watching. I do have, uh, like I said, I'm like a broken record. I do have your um, full moon readings posted. I'll put the link down below. Um, I also have a fun little pick a card for you guys. It's uh, for your fortune and bring in some lucky numbers. It's angelic activation uh, messages out for you guys as well, but I'll put all the links down below. So I thank you guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you later.